There are leaves around, and I know just the tune to accompany them. Okay, if you so wish to hear it. Let's keep going with the desert. Wherever in this world what? I roam. Wherever in this world what? I roam. Uh -huh. Wherever in yeah, this world what? I roam. Just checking the audio. Mm. Yeah, we were there. Time to go. Mm, I need to buy more uh, captured nets and stuff. That's close enough. You are not <laughs> time to go. Oh, I should have peel <laughs> the shovel. Yeah, last time I played, I guess I still had Tainari there. But I already maxed out his friendship. Yeah, before we start, let's... Let's make a wish. I got some spare, so let's make 10 wishes. Mm, no. I mean, it's good. Okay. Gene, but... It's not what I wanted. I wanted a new character. And the other was a Barbara. My Barbara is not soft already. Hmm. As I will be smooth sailing this time, but we still have to figure out a way to get the door open. I don't know if my voice is a bit weird. I got a pen here. Uh, isn't that good news? Uh, at least that seems that means no one's ahead of me. Even if they may have chosen the same subject, I got it first. The academia's researchers aren't alone in coveting King Dashwood's relics. What do you mean coveting? It's a legitimate research approved by the academia. Don't you dare compare me to treasure hoarders. Let's just try to find a way through the door. Oh, do you remember how Bayman somehow made the stone slate light up? Let's have a look at it. We might even discover a clue. Uh, that's... What's there's that stone slate doing with eagles? Well... In those here is an expert adventurer. With much more experience in ruin mechanisms than there's that. Giving him this important item will help us make the best use of it. Uh, yeah, that's it. That was my intention exactly. Is that how it is? Fine, you will have a point. So, have you figured out anything? Uh, nothing so far. Um, well, it just does know nothing about research. It's never too late to learn. Too late to learn. Even someone as knowledgeable as me can't figure anything out. I suppose... I suppose I really must continue improving myself. If I spent 10 years working hard at the academia, 10 years of hard work won't do anything for layman. Just forget it. Hmm, but you never know if you don't give it a try. Wait, Ben Ben's acting a little strange. Uh, maybe Ben Ben can open the door. So why were we talking all this time if we could have opened for us? Well, 
it's actually opening up. I didn't expect Bay Main to be able to do that. Yeah, I think Bay Main saying that it's capable of more than that. I don't guys think that Bay Main is much more useful than the Stone Slate. Or maybe you should ask this instead. Will this Stone Slate really be of any use? Of course it will. Well, it has been used before. Uh, it has to. I might lose my mind if if it's of less use than Bayman. Uh, be patient. It's too early to make any judgment yet. Well, you're right, Shabrahel. A short-sighted researcher is bound to amount of to nothing. Patience is a virtue. Um, we need our pioneer agents or researchers. We really need patience nonetheless. An interval of pursuing and waiting for things. No, patience. That's true. Uh, that's enough. It doesn't matter who did it. All that matters is that the door is now open, right? Now that the door is open, you're eager to get inside, aren't you, man? man? Alright. Tears an archaeological team, let's go. Uh, let's advance with caution. Oh, I know, we should be fine if we stay close to Wiggins, right? Come on, let's get moving. And I forgot to copy my map. Otherwise, I won't know what things I got in. Which ones I haven't? Um, um. Time to go. Go. Oh, they're there already. Mm, there still hasn't been anything worth writing about. Will they man come if I try to take it back with me? I think you would rather stay here. Wouldn't you have to change your research topic? Alright, it was the clues on the stone slate that led me here. How did I stray so far off my plane? I think we're right still here. And in order acting just like Jet, the thing, uh, I mean, Ben Ben, can only be put to good use when it becomes research material for me. Yeah. Okay, you first. Hmm, Jabral, what do you think about these ruins? You should ask Tirzad, he's the professional here. I'm just a brute. All I know about King Dash Red. Our old stories that no one wishes to hear. I wish if it's was over. I don't want to read a long story. Benben seems to know this place well, and for some reason, doors seems to hold a special place in his heart. Maybe it's a bizarrely shaped key. But if that's true, then which door is it spare? Every door. Some keys open more than one door. Bayman has three corners, so are the doors here. So Bayman is the type that's drawn something similar to it. And it's no wonder they say you're an experienced adventurer. You've observed everything in such detail. Uh, don't have, they have three points there, but there are actually pentagons. The entrance had four more like. I mean, you know this place well. Ah, it's talking to her again, okay. Let's come here first. Shine down. <laughs> oh, they drop so much meat.
Hang on, hold on. Oh, we're waiting to return here towards. Techno Sealy. Time to go. Time to go. Gather. Illusion shattered. Ha. Torn to oblivion. Wind strike. Time to go. Oh, they're doing something different here. Oh, they're trying to connect with the others. Uh, so I'll be able to lower this. This door, this wall, maybe. Maybe it's part of another puzzle because it seems like I'm gonna open the path forge already. Time to go. But nothing's happening this time. He seems to have been talking to the dwarves earlier. It's not that nonsense. Dwarves can speak. But something like Bemi shouldn't be able to speak either, right? Mm. That's true. Mm. Guess Paimon's unknowingly accepted that Bemi can speak as well. But can Beeping really be considered speaking? Uh, as long as communication is achieved, doesn't matter if the language used is something we're familiar with. For example, animals have their own languages, and the sand has its own language too. Uh, but if you don't understand it, Paimon's curious. Paimon really wants to know what Bemen is saying. Just ask Bemen if you're curious. Bemen, what are you talking to the door about? Oh, you see? Uh, Jin, do you understand it? Of course not. It's just as I mentioned before, I can sense some of its emotions. But once you can understand Batman's emotions, trying to guess what Batman's saying isn't that difficult. Uh, to be honest, Paimon didn't sense or understand anything. Did you? Not at all. Yeah, Paimon has no idea what Jet's talking about. Well, no one has been here in a very long time. Well, of course, someone has been here, but they weren't able to open this door. Even Batman can open it. The door is protecting something very important, and so much time has passed that it has almost forgotten how it used to open. People used to come here long, long ago, and some would even pass this way many times a day. I mean, it's such a huge door after all. People used to walk here? Hmm. Oh, it must have been a mischievous cat that no one could catch. Which is why so many people pass through here. Hmm. Uh, what do you mean? Did the door tell Batman all of that? Of course not. They're just guesses I made based on Batman's emotions. Uh, I almost believed you. 
If I had unknowingly included it in my paper, wouldn't everyone laugh at me once I published it? Uh, how will you make it up to me when that happens? Uh, Teresa, that would be your own mistake. As a researcher, you should be able to distinguish the authenticity of the materials you collect. Uh, that was close, but I almost believed her too. Thank goodness we don't have any paper to write. Now, uh, we should have a long journey ahead. I hope not. Uh, let's stop wasting time and get moving. Right, this place is huge and filled with doors. If we just do this in front of every door, who knows how long it will take us to finish. Wouldn't that be perfect? Aren't you fond of camping outside? You aren't fond of camping outside, but this place has walls in a ceiling and even the research materials you want. King Dashworth's civilizations fell due to tyranny. And this place is probably his mausoleum. I'd rather spend two weeks in the desert than spend a single night here. Uh, Teresa, do you and King Desert have jet? Alright, not to go, and the others are still waiting for us at the Oasis. Uh, let's continue exploring. Uh. Oh. It's going further down. Yeah. Time to go. Oh, I now expect this to be kind of large. Uh, no. I'm exhausted. Moreover, besides Bayman, we haven't made any other discoveries. And that makes my exhaustion all the worse for it. Oh, I barely entered here. This place is huge, and we've seen so much on the way here, but I'm sure there's a lot to write about, right? Even if Paimon doesn't really know much about these things. Neither of you are a researcher, so of course you don't understand. While he's witness, this whole time can only be considered as proof of existing research, except Ben Ben. How should I explain this to a non researcher? Let me put it like this I want my paper to get approved by the Academy's review. Uh, it's like love. Uh, what does this have to do with love? Your lover is academic research. The current situation is that I want to love it, but it seems to hold no interest towards me. Uh, a paper must stand out to pass the review. Just imagine that you've pursuing your ideal partner. If you're no different from the other candidates, then how will you capture their heart? This analogy sounds like a real stretch, you know? The way tears are things is really strange. In my opinion, a couple just has to consider each other suitable. There's no need to compete with others. We're still talking about academic reviews, aren't we? Uh, I shouldn't have made that example, just forget what I said. I guess this is where our little chat ends. It will be more efficient if we split up and look for clues. An archaeological expedition with no hope of sight. Who cares about efficiency? That sounds late has lit up once. We'll definitely find a way to make it lit up completely. We just have to not give up. But... How can you guarantee that? Wait, so you really do know something, don't you? What I do know is that there may is that there may be hope if we continue forward, but we'll leave empty handed if we turn back now. Well, that is true. Turns out stop worrying about this and that. An endorsology researcher like you has finally gotten the opportunity to enter some rings. So just treat it as a chance to view some of your seniors' research subjects for yourself. You're right, I should be more professional. Uh, but even if we are going to speed up, I want Ignis to stay close to me. I want to explore it freely too, you know? Then we'll explore <laughs> freely together. Uh, there's no danger here, and while you might be a researcher, you are terrible at puzzles. You'll just be a burden to Ignis. Exploring ruins has never been my forte. 
but if I'm giving enough time, I'm pen and paper, then such problems will be no problem at all. Alright, alright. Anyway, just shout help me if you're in danger or something. One of us will get in there in time, probably. What if none of you do? It's as impossible as breaking open 10 bad eggs in a row for breakfast. I think it needs some lessons in mathematics. Jet, I can introduce a teacher to you once we return. Was like that? No, but that. Why don't you go back to the previous room? What? Why? Oh, so there's already open. Maybe Jen and the others found something. Oh. Uh, I seems to have a lot of shared doors. If only my father and I could do the same. Time to go. What's that? Look how below. Oh. These are crystals that disappear. Uh, okay, but I never seen like a bottomless beach or something. Yeah, it's another path. Time to go. Solidify! Wind strike! Clouds high! The bird's... Illusion shattered! Now you shall perish! Time to go. Mm. A fateful offering. Can show up in the door. Yeah. Uh. Time to 
Time to go. Okay, let me get back on there because I thought I would unlock the grass floaty thing that I don't know. Didn't know the Time to go. Ah uh, no, maybe I need that. Because this Shine down. won't work yet. Yeah, I suppose I'll have to return here afterwards. Gather. Uh, maybe not. A fateful offering. No, this wasn't the person. Check on the net. Mm, yeah, I'll need more clearance to probably build those lamps. Uh, can I climb here? Oh, damn. Oh, hang on. You can do if you can climb. Right. Time to go. Well, I have found any clues. I haven't made any progress over here just yet. Of course not. You stopped halfway through. Uh, that's strange. What's a ship? Oh. What's a ship doing here? Might make sense because this is an ocean of sand. Perhaps a river used to flow through here, but it dried up. Or perhaps this boat was not made to be used by the living. I'll have to head back and do some research on the geographical changes here, so to confirm my theory. kind of rainy today, so if I just suddenly stop, it's probably because the power went off. Yeah. 
Time to go. Great, as expected of my assistants, no mechanism or puzzle shall ever be your match. No need to exaggerate. Yes, yeah, sometimes I have to look online. Uh, English is impressive, but you should help out too. There's that. Speaking of which, didn't you complain about being exhausted and not discovering anything so far? How are you dismotivated now? Uh, it's because my researcher's intuition tells me that we're about to make a breakthrough. Come on, that boat was quite impressive. No, researcher's intuition. Is it like an adventurer's instinct? Uh, Pamela get, gets it. That's the ability to predict that there will be an ambush at the corner or trap behind a door, right? Then you better be careful. Uh, Father, let's prepare for battle as well. What are all you talking about? The researcher's intuition I mentioned is based on vast knowledge and careful observation. Uh, it's akin to a flash of genius. Uh, but what you say does make sense. My consideration is lacking in that aspect. Well, if there's danger, I'll, continue, I'll be counting on you, on all of you, to do the jobs I hired you for. Yeah. Oh, I thought it would go up. Why do I keep thinking we're going up? This is the mausoleum. Obviously, we're going down. Okay, but I thought we would go towards the pyramids. This a mural. Mm, okay, evil laugh. <laughs> it is that. Are you alright? Me? Of course I am. I'm terrific. I've never felt better. Since Pymolians aren't from around here, it's understandable that you don't recognize its worth. As for Jebra and Jet, uh, I guess it's a knowledge issue. No, it isn't something you should have knowledge about. Well, well, let me test you for a moment. Uh, what can you discern from this mural? Uh, well, there are many people and something like a sun and a night. Uh, I guess Pamela has no talent for it. Why did you even ask if you already knew that? Uh, and what about you? What do you see in this mural? It's a very symmetrical painting. <laughs> Any significant subjects in a great king? No, it's very symmetrical painting. It is it is completely symmetrical. Yes, it should be. It is symmetrical, but this is a matter of style alone. It symbolizes a solid structure, a rule by force. Uh, not necessarily. I mean, that doesn't even look like a beam, but to be ruling. Uh, the sun and the eye symbolize King Dashrat. Beneath him are the seven pillars. Oh, there are seven. Seven sages. Uh, so we call them that. So we call them that hold up 
King Deshert's pyramid of authority. Mm. As for his subjects, they are insignificant. They dare not express any complaint. They are forced to submit. But from the story we got before, from the main quest, he wasn't. He was kind of greedy with knowledge in that doom his kingdom, but he wasn't evil, was he? Uh, but even so, they couldn't escape destruction. Uh, is that really the case? Come now, how can I be wrong? Okay, so you're probably wrong. The theme of this mural fully conforms to the depictions of King Dashrath in everything I've ever read. A, terrific, a terrifying king who used absolute and supreme authority to keep all his subjects beneath him. Um, but this mural feels so peaceful to me. Everything feels so or orderly and everyone has their own place and beauty. Isn't that good? What, what kind of crooked interpretation is, this, is that? Jet, can you make up stories about... You can make up stories about Bebe talking to Doris, but deciphering murals and the history of King Dashford's civilization is my area of expertise. I thought you weren't expertise on anything. But... No, I won't hear you any buts. Uh, everything I have said has been proven by prior research, and this mural will become part of Vahumana too. Of course, I'll be the one to write it. Just isn't entirely correct, but you, you know so little about the sun. Uh, you've hardly said more than a few words all this time, yet you're standing up for a daughter now. I may not be a match for you in battle of strength, but I have Ings by my side. Why would I defend you? Against him. Angus, you take my side, won't you? Uh, it's, that's not appropriate. We're all traveling together. No, we're all companions on this expedition. Uh, even if our opinions differ, we shouldn't fight over it, right? What? Together? I started this expedition and I pay for it. All of you are employed by me. Moreover, I'm the only one with formal academic training. A layman has no right to speak on academic issues. Only one who draws from others can hardly call himself an independent researcher. Uh, oh, they nice to hear your unique insights. This destroyed kingdom was once strong and beautiful. It may be difficult to believe that all of this was built in the desert. And you only see the obedience revealed on the, uh, on the surface, but fail to notice the direction of their hopes. It was their hope which, try, which tied the people of the saint to King Bashrat. They thought this would help them overcome the calamity, but we know the outcome of that. He, uh, even delusions shouldn't have limits. Are you trying to overturn all prior research? I don't think there's sufficient evidence for any of this nonsense. Well, what a coincidence. I too do not think that the opinion of a struggling researcher who came here out of desperation holds any weight. You... I never knew you had such sharp tongue. Father, are we on change of thing? Exactly, Paimon can figure out what you're arguing about. But if it's academic, there's always room for discussion, right? So put your difference aside for now. We can't convince each other anyway. Yeah, so let's continue our investigation. Perhaps we'll discover more clues and then we can see who's right and who's wrong, alright? This is infuriating. I shouldn't have discussed academics with a layman. No, what was that? Oh. oh, what's going on? Oh, whatever it is, it isn't my fault. This path looks like it leads upward. I don't see any traps. Everyone wonders where it leads, but staying in here won't change anything either. So let's continue, shall we? This 
should take us back up. But then, you take me where I already was. Ah, uh, no, we're going further up. Uh, but this take us to the same moment outside. These rooms are magnificent. Come on, anybody can see that from the desert. Uh, those aren't ordinary rooms. If the records are correct, they should be King Dashwood's mausoleum. It's where the tyrant is buried. Everybody can see that from anywhere in the desert. From the entrance of the desert, you see that. You shouldn't should still go forward. All questions have answers, and all answers is long here. Uh, I will do this even if I, all I achieve is showing some ignorant mercenaries the error of their ways. You know, let's head over carefully. Because this doesn't work anymore. Even smaller now that we've got in closer. Um, it feels as si significant as a grain of sand. There was also one of there was also one of King Dashford's means of ruling, building huge spectacles to instill the idea that his subjects are small and insignificant into them, thus achieving the objective of domesticating them. The act of using huge amounts of manpower to build such a spectacle in the desert is a testament to King Dashford's tyranny. Oh, now you open it. Yeah, it's kind of pointless to go down there. You could just have been opened this and didn't get more clearance or anything there. So, maybe you can even open a door this huge. Uh, it's difficult to say. Maybe just open it, it's all. It may, it might have nothing to do with Ben Ben. Why is he being so stubborn? They explain to me how this thing Ben Ben opened the door. What's the logic behind that? It's a device made from the same people that made the doors that nobody here would open. Ben Ben doesn't know either. Ben Ben, what is it? Do you want to go inside? Is there something you are familiar with in there? Grain of sand is insignificant, but an ocean of them possesses immeasurable strength. Researcher of blind faith, do you really have the courage to step foot into the sands? We're already here, so of course we must go inside. Still, my researcher's intuition is telling me that the danger ahead is incomparable to the dangers we faced this so far. I doubt we can trust either of you desert dwellers, so Ignus, I'm calling on you to keep me safe. Come on, it's just on different opinions. It isn't that serious, is it? No, I don't get it at all. A collision of views in academics is no different from a battle. This, this guy is this guy's getting more annoying by the minute. So, are all of you done? It's not that easy to hold Batman back. Sorry. So Batman really wants to go inside, huh? Let's stop delaying them. Fallen leaves. Adorn my Inazuma shines eternal.
Thank goodness, that man's alright. Seriously, stop running off so quickly. What if you got into trouble? Uh, should devil call on me or are a malfunction? Uh, doesn't matter, there aren't any doctors or technicians here anyway. Uh, we do have a bunch of angry adults though. You're absolutely right about that. I'm not angry, this place is full of evidence. We'll not take long to prove that I'm right. I mean, look at this huge coffin. Oh, cool. Uh, wait, what? How do we get this thing open? Do we have to get open here? I'm okay to figure out if there's if he's brave or cowardly. What are those? Uh, we've seen something like that before. The huge statues here. Don't they look like guards? They're so intimidating. Turns out Pamela thinks best if you don't touch anything here. They're just rocks. We have nothing to fear from rocks. Uh, there may be a mechanism around here somewhere. Let me take a look. We should split it up and search for clues. Look how much money. And that's. That's probably not Mora. They have their own money here that is immoral. Yeah. The material I've gathered so far, this should be enough for two chapters. Uh, wait, will that really be enough? Where's Bambin? Oh, they sit. Thunder feels so unfamiliar right now. What's going on? Baby, do you know why? Mm. It's a pity that Ufa Ufaira 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 Ophira, Feyre, we'll never get to see this. Ophira, Paimon's never heard him mention the name. Mm -hmm. I guess I'll return from there. Oh, no. Time to go. Solidify. Desert seems to fit, Johnny. Uh, where? Why? What's the point? Oh, okay. This maybe this was one of the way out. Gather.
No reaction. And then I'm assuming along here. There's not enough time to read all. I haven't yet to read it yet. So I have to read the other one first. Is there any difference between them? How do I know which one's the first I have to activate? Oh yeah, I did. Can you hear? Can I climb this? Solicited and all the more valuable for it. Oh, perfect things. Damn, it's too big. Okay, this seems like okay. I thought this would be Fateful part of offering. the right way. Um, seems done already. Okay. 
brings a smile to my face. Okay, now a few things more. Probably need that. Can I climb it? Yeah, if I can climb it, it doesn't really matter. That's it. Time to go. Oh, great, another one. Time to go. Time to go. Smile to my face. Time to go. Some this is like it's not enough. Uh, oh, uh, oh, <laughs> time to go. Didn't count. Follow the wind. Well, hmm. that's the thumbnail. Probably. There may be a bad scene in the enemy. Uh, it was impressive as always. I'll definitely credit you if I'm able to publish my papers successfully. Uh, also, 
what we're about to do is disrespectful. It's all done for academic progress. I promise it's not for selfish gain. Huh? Wait, uh, there's... There's nothing here. Oh. There's a Ben Ben's lot. How is this possible? But these diagrams... Wait a minute, let me think. Hmm. I get it now. This has to be an illusion. Of course, King Dasher knew that inquisitive researchers like me would come with the desire to get to the bottom of things and uncover all his secrets. So, of course, he wouldn't let others get to them that easily. Thus, he built this huge mausoleum and prepared so many doors and rooms. He even went so far as to prepare illusions to, like this to mislead us. The most important thing most important things wouldn't be placed in such a conspicuous spot. Moreover, this place is too low, way too low. The real treasure is definitely higher up. Uh, it must be in a place closer to the sky. What utter nonsense. Well, let's hear what you think then. I may not be able to say what exactly it's for, but I know for sure that what you say isn't true. Does someone like you even have the right to say that I only draw for from the work of others? You don't even have the intelligence to use the work of others. Indeed, but I am still convinced that you know too little about the saints. Stop going on about the saints. What you see is the truth. Just you wait. I'll find some proof that you can refute. Uh, let's go upward. Uh, he knows, find, let's find a way up. I'm most worried that Tirzad will get himself into trouble if he goes on. Uh, is this some kind of elevator? Well, that's convenient. We'll be able to go up there. Yeah. I thought Ben Ben would get plugged in here. And I don't know, become a hologram of King Dashrex or something. Give us a message. Time to go. Haven't got more clearance anywhere or. <laughs> I'm sure at level one. Can I? I can see here. Can I? Uh, that view. Uh, okay, it tells me about places and stuff. Okay, I think I'm on my way to unlock clearance level three. I don't know. Chris level two. Uh, yeah, because I've seen some of those that I can interact with. Time to go. Mm -hmm. Theoretically, this should be where King Dashra's organs are stored. Ah, uh, an urn. Uh, but just like before, nothing physical is stored here. We didn't open it. Uh, what do you mean? Oh, I have a theory, but I need more evidence to prove it. Father, what do you think? I'm sure you know something, right? Even if you didn't tell me or anyone else. The stone slate. The stone slates the key, but I cannot open all doors. Even the key must first receive acknowledgement. Oh, the name's link to this place is obvious, but what do you mean the stone slate must receive acknowledgement? That's just absurd. I mean, who do you think is correct? Uh, now that I've calmed down a little, I can understand why Chebrael is challenged my views. You said that he was once from the desert. Perhaps some experiences. 
maybe even verbal, have been treated as knowledge. Uh, not that they are true knowledge, of course, but naturally there are no academic records of such things. His superstitions are understandable considering the society he lived in. But Jesse, do you really think that Bemben's uh, words are worth believing? These are, after all, words that came out of nowhere instead of an actual academic researcher. Come on, what are you researching? It isn't a, a, an academic that made this temple. But Bemben has helped a lot in our trip. As for you, Teresa, you've been nothing but talk. And down your speeches, high flown through this, the sound, are even entirely correct. I get the feeling that my father knows more, and that uh, if he would just tell us everything he knows, repeating something wrong a thousand times won't make it right. You can spend all your adventures with vast amounts of experience, and unlike that father daughter pair, you have no link to this place. So, who do you think is right? Well, you can't just bring that it was uh, Bay right? <laughs> Uh, but no here can't really understand Ben Ben. Even if you asked us, we wouldn't be able to answer that question like that. Instead of worrying about differing opinions, why don't we focus on our attention on the real problem? Like, alright, didn't the stones lay light up earlier? But there are still so many blank spots on it. So do you think you'll find clues about the stones laid here? Why don't I have a look at the stone slate news? I just look at it. Okay. Mm, wow, it's shiny. Looks like it opened up a new passageway too. So it really is the key. But if you look closely, there are still empty patches. Uh, Tears said, can you tell us about the symbols on it now? Uh, I'll have to answer once they are all lit up. It's still too early now, I can't jump to conclusions. You know, that does make sense. If the people of the past were fond of using inverted sentences, we we may come to a completely opposite conclusion if we don't have all the information. I uh, know, I kind of doubt that will happen. Uh, since the passageway to the next place is shown, has shown itself, and no other choice but to push forward. Uh, will things really go that smoothly? Paimon keeps having the feeling that something is leading us forward. Going back the way we came is an option. How can we turn back at this point? My masterpiece just needs some final touches. Just a tiny piece of decisive proof. I expect all of you to stay until the end. Should we really call a decisive piece of evidence tiny? Uh, Paimo may not know whether Shebra or Tirzat is correct, but we'll definitely get an answer if we continue, right? Maybe just let's be more careful for now. Don't they often say that? And Big deal. I think the camera is kind of lagging. Whatever. They're close behind us. I didn't explore the previous room. Hey, Ignis. What happened? Thank goodness, we're finally awake. Paimon doesn't know what happened either. We were here when Paimon woke up. Maybe it was a trap. And how did we get knocked out? Anyway, let's go look for the others. Uh, some of the devices in King Dash's ruins will allow you to increase the clearance level of the Scarlet Slate Sandslate. Now I can. Uh, the higher the clearance of the slate, the slate process, the more devices you can control. This. Scenery is wonderful. 
Surely oh, enough to convince anyone to become a wanderer. What? Do we fall from here? I didn't pay attention to the map where that was, but it felt like it was in the middle of the dungeon. It's the Fatui, Jenny and Jones. How's Fatui got here? We're already fighting the Fatui. Here, my savior. Come on, they're not doing good work. I will cut find myself in this place, and my whole body felt like it was falling apart. There wasn't even the end of it. I went to great lengths to finally find Jet and her father, but the Fatui attacked again. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, you know, did you see Ben Ben on the way? Ben Ben's gone. I searched all around the area to no avail. We didn't, did we? We didn't. Then Bambi must be up ahead. It's the only one left alone now, so we must find it soon. There's no need to be so anxious. The way I see it, it probably only got lost because it likes running off by itself so much. Bambi has helped us so much. It's part of our group. I don't know about you, but I wouldn't be so cruel to as from Ben or companion. I must find Bambi. Its capabilities are undeniable, Tirzet. I'm sure you are aware of that. Giving you, Jabra. Fine, you win. Let's find Batman first, but I'm leaving if we encounter the Fatui again. Speaking of which, what are the Fatui doing here? Is this some kind of archaeological hotspot? Uh, that's impossible. I wouldn't have chosen this place if it were such a hot research topic. True, after all, you've said yourself that you aren't a very great researcher. You perhaps wouldn't stand a chance against those uh, elites. Hey, it's calling avoiding battles where victory isn't guaranteed. Either way, this place may be more troublesome than we expected. Let's advance carefully. Okay, with the tablet just leading up one of those things in this whole area now. I think this is going to be way longer quest than I expected. I'm not even trying to explore this thing, I Time just follow the bus and get whatever is on the way. Time to go. Time to go. But I can't. Wind strike. There is no escape. Time to go. Time to go. Fallen leaves. Adorn my... 
gather. Illusion shattered. Brings a smile to my face. Time to go. Shine down. Time to go. Solidify. There is no escape. This be pushable. Thousand of them, thousands of entombed chambers at each one pile. Shine down! Wind strider! Inazuma shines eternal! I miscalculated. Fateful offering. We must have the main. Do we have to go any further? Time to go. As one with wind and clouds, rise. There is no escape. I miscalculated. Brings a smile to my face. Stabilized. Time to go. That's part of the rest of it. Another. The rooms. I wonder if it's a trap. Why did they send us here? What? What sent us where? Ah, the room back there. Okay. Uh, it's common practice to attempt to expel trespassing outsiders. If you want technical details, you have to wait until I return and ask some Shahua experts. Um, but I wonder, if King Dashwood was a tyrant like you said, why wasn't that a little mechanism instead? We were just lucky that we weren't in co we haven't encountered one yet. And I hope that we never do. Look, we can continue our expedition on this path. Uh, I, I don't want to give up 
Oh, 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 I didn't click. Those guys down there aren't friendly. We must find a way around them to proceed forward. Around them? I eat them for breakfast. It's the Futui in the environment again. You know, you know, I must be thinking. Did they kidnap Amen? We've got to rescue it. I should calm down. Uh, are you kidding? I'm just an ordinary searcher. I come here to solve academic problems, not to fight. Uh, but we wouldn't have been able to get here without Bamban. And here's that. We'll never be able to solve those academic problems of yours without Bamban either. That's right, we got to rescue it. Even if it's just for the sake of completing your, our expedition. You are not afraid of them, right, Ignis? Don't worry, Ignis is expert at dealing with Atui. But we should still be careful. Yeah, we got Jungle. And death from above. Oh, come on! It was an ambush. Uh, what were you talking to them? I was wondering when you should get here, my dear Jibro. Uh, and here you are, just as I expected, even without an invitation from me. Oh, how long has it been since we last spoke face to face? Even my fingers on both hands are enough to count the ears. Uh, what about you? Do you remember, Jabrail? Oh, that guy seems really strange, but it looks like he knows Jabrail. Uh, how cold. Is our reunion, after so many years apart, not worth a glass of wine and a toast? You know, I don't hold any pass. I don't hold the pass against you. Either that, or I'm not the Samayo, the straight shooter. Do you have a gun? What, what do you shoot? Uh, there is still a place for you in Tutmos. I just say the word, and everything can go back to how it was. Indeed. We can even go claim the death of that the death that Babel owns us. I knew it. I knew Jebra wasn't a good person. He's uh, actually old friends with someone like this. Nonsense. My father may have kept things from me, but I believe he has his reasons. Uh, that really hurts, chat. Uh, how do you know my name? How could I not? Why, Jebra, you've got such a cold heart. And it's like father, like daughter. I see. Ah, uh, dear Jet, you may have forgotten me, but luckily, I still remember it very well. You held, I held you in my arms when you were just a little baby, with the moonlight on one side and the bonfire on the other, just like your parents. How come? It seems like Jebrail didn't tell you anything at all, huh? Come on, that can't be. Jebrail, couldn't you even tell your own daughter the truth? Oh well, I suppose I shouldn't have been too shocked. After all, we did call you the treacherous Greek. As I listened to my subordinates reporting to me about the responses of the foreign merchants on the oasis, I started to wonder who gave them such wisdom, and yet only struck them without explaining anything at all. But even I could never have imagined that little Jet's place in your heart is no different than those foreign merchants, mere strangers to you. You don't. <coughs> you don't even dare tell her ab about your past. Why are you afraid she'll hear about your story in of betrayal and look down on you? Father, Samayo, to be honest, I'm quite relieved to see that you're still the same leafy fellow I remember. Now I have nothing to worry about if I beat you to the point where you live on your own accord. Uh, so you are afraid. Um, you are afraid that this ghost of the past will seek you out of the death you own. Uh, but of course, I have the right. The secrets of our mar belong to the Tutmos. Yet... You took the key and betrayed us. You betrayed all of us grains of sand. 
just look at yourself. You, you are with children in court. Uh, where's the ferocity you once had? Has it flow away like the sand flows out of from the between the fingers? Enough. Him ben ben over. Ben ben. Oh, you the mechanical operation. Uh, did you hear all that? Jabrel actually calls the same Ben Ben. Unfortunately, the Chesnayans are our old acquaintances. Uh, this will be much, much more amazing. Hand over Ben Ben, or else. Or else what? Jabrel, is that even necessary? Ultimatum after ultimatum. Have you finally changed your mind? Do you plan to finally sit down and catch up with me? All right. Do you remember what happened to Ophira? Uh, have you, we haven't forgotten, right? It's fine. Even if you've forgotten, you can help refresh your memories again and again. What the heck is this, this guy saying? We do have another way of to communicate, don't we? Come on, Jet. Why don't you and the kid over there lend him a hand? After all, Jabra is much weaker than he used to be. Ignos, that guy Samuel is looks strong, but we have to give him a good trashing so we can get the man back. Yeah, that guy's wrong. Time to go. Pay your dues. Stabilize. Okay. That's my intention. Okay. Illusion shattered. Torn to oblivion. Now you're testing my patience. <laughs> Set cloud time. The birds. Fight this on the side. Go. I will have order. We we exploded them. They didn't flee or anything. And then you're right. Yeah, it seems fine, but a little sad. Hey, Jabrell, you better tell us the truth right in this instance, or we'll have to go our separate ways. Sameo is clearly some manner of villain, but he was being so friendly with you, and even with Jet, so are you are you part of the same group? I knew it. I knew it all along. You agreed on my commission without even asking about the details. It's because you had a plan, right? You plotted with Same Sameo. He has said he has, he has been more than a decade to trick a simple and ignorant researcher like me to uncover the secrets here for you, and even using your own daughter to gain the, my trust for the sake of that goal, didn't you? And you, Jeff, that naivety and ignorance of yours was just a facade that Jabriel made you put on, wasn't it? And uh, what an actress you were, indeed. Dear son, you are too much. Final things that Jet really was in the dark about this. But as for Jibrael, Paimon, you two things. Wake up. And it's my kindness and gullibility that made me fall for their lies. Don't follow in my footsteps. What are you talking about? I'm no actress. And you, father. This isn't time for secrets. I too want to know the truth. I won't make excuses for my betrayal, nor do I think I made the wrong choice. You know, Paimon remembers Semeyu calling Ijabrel something like that treacherous creep. Yes, there's nothing to hide here. I was once one of the same people, Tutmos. Uh, no matter what, in the, what I was in the past. Now, anyway, Semeyu is a madman through and through. He will stop at nothing to achieve his objectives. That was obvious enough. My wife, Jet's mother, was killed by him. So that's what happened. Is that why you never ever mentioned her? Your mother was a researcher too. If it wasn't for me, she would have had a brighter future. At least she would have she wouldn't have lost her life in such a young age. Tears out. What? I won't just believe a word to say. That's reasonable. It was I who concealed my motives, so I brought this upon myself. Well, at least you got some self-awareness. But no matter what, I'll protect you until this commission is over. 
No way. It is obvious that Sameo has a bone to pick with you. If you stay with me, I don't want to be targeted by s someone like that. Tirza, you're being stupid again. There's just an old grudge between them. His current priority is definitely King Dasher's treasures. Why would he have taken Bayman otherwise? So he come for you even if my father wasn't here. After all, you have the key to solving everything. I do? Wait, the stone's late? Good thing I gave it to him for safekeeping. I knew it wasn't something safe. Hey, it's not just the stone's late, it's your intelligence too. The knowledge you possess as a researcher is something he covets. Uh, I don't want to be a target in a place like targeted in a place like that. Like this. I'll do my job. You'll be fine with your brother here. Father won't lose some to that guy. And we we have me too. I won't let some you harm anyone again. There's no time to lose. The longer we delay, the more time he'll have to prepare. He's like a viper crawling through the shadows, and his blades are like viper's fangs. We cannot show any weakness to him, otherwise it will lead to a fatal consequence. Hope you keep your word. Well, as far as Pam is concerned, Pam thinks that staying united is even more important now that we finally got him bang bang back. Look, there's still a long way ahead, right? But it's strange, what's Sameyu doing here? Uh, what they want should be up there, right? I'm sure he has a plan, or perhaps he missed some clues around here. Oh, then we absolutely can't allow our differences to delay our expedition. Uh, let's go. Ignus, Paimon will take the front. All of you, keep up. Oh. Okay, Samuel's missive. Notable progress has been made in Kaj Nisut. Requisite conditions for opening a path are expected to come to light soon. From one's humble per perspective, this place remains an essential part of the puzzle. All help would be appreciated. When the test is complete, compensation will be conferred as promised. Samuel. So many levels. Wind Strider. Time to go. How did Semeo going forward with all that? Time to go. That's a way back to somewhere. Time to go. I should change her 
obviamente. This one, this one lit up. Illusion shattered. Well, was it because of that thing? There is no escape. Bet you can't keep up with me. Oh. <laughs> Who says there aren't benefits to a life of wandering? What shall we do? Says there aren't benefits to a life of wandering. Hmm? Wind strider, Shut! shine down. Illusion shattered. Time to go. Time to go. Hmm. 
Oh. Oh, that's walking, of course. Wind Strider! Solidify! Shine down! Now you shall perish! Stabilize! Illusion shattered! <laughs> Who says there aren't benefits to a life of wandering? This chest isn't marked. Oh no, it is. Okay. It's just not marked as a chest. Time to go. Time to go. Oh, okay. I guess now I'll be able to. Time to go. Ah, that was it. Says there aren't uh, benefits I may just to be a life of war. Just remember, so I didn't pay attention. <laughs> I thought there would be one here, but no, it was that thing I was taking there. Uh. I thought that would be one of the 
playing pieces. Oh, okay, put here again. Yeah, okay. No, come on, ah, come on. Time to go. That's not what I thought would happen. Oh, okay. Follow the wind. Oh. <laughs> Time to go. Who says oh. there aren't benefits to a life of wandering? I'm gonna fight. <laughs> oh. sh -sh 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 clouds high. The birds call. Shine down, torn to oblivion. Time to go. I'm not even. No, no. I'll check afterwards for those slates and stuff. Says there aren't benefits to a life of wandering. Time to 
Time to go. I did already. Oh, come on, it's, it's going towards the other one. Proceed deep in the ruins. Did I just activate them? Let's try teleporting. Uh, To release them again. Okay. Okay, I thought this was their final location. No, it's never that the final location. They got stuck in walls before. Yeah, there. Okay. And the door is open. Come on, let's go. level of clearance. And this should be the last. And let's take a look at the stone slate. If things go the same way as before, there may be clues about the stone slate here. Circles would be up. Oh, um, this is in it up as expected. And there's a map. Is that like to scale? There's a structure so big towards there. There's uh, these symbols on this stone lace. It should, should be our area of expertise, right? So, isn't it time to give us an explanation? Yes, these inscriptions are most likely text of praise. Someone in an exalted position like King Dashard would naturally be fond of things like this. Look, all these wonders are an attempt to whitewashing his role. I... They have the expression whitewash? Uh, why was she you say? But Paimon remembers you saying something different earlier. Rule by force, you say. Exactly, you spoke of submission and terror before. And you sure sounded convinced then, too. Uh, what do you mean? These are conclusions I came to after careful analysis and reasoning. Just look at it. What would it be if not an attempt of whitewashing? Uh, it's very common for rulers to sugarcoat the other deeds. Uh, since this entire ruin was made by King Deshret, it's not like it's not that hard to imagine that this is its pur purpose, right? Reflecting on your own shortcomings in your work, well, we researchers do that. So they mostly just write a few apocryphal lines in acknowledgments of our research paper and call it a day. They don't know what? They're just pretending to be modest. Uh, why would any academic believe that they are incompetent anyway? They know somehow Pam has a feeling that he's hurting himself with his own words there. Uh, I must admit that Jebra's analysis did give me some inspirations. But an outstanding researcher should be able to accept the opinion of others 
when they are correct. Needless obstin obstinacy will make it impossible to make an academic breakthrough. Don't you think so? You've said everything that can be said from either side. Is there even anything left for us to say? And here we see the researcher's ability to twist facts in its natural habitat. Uh, it's nothing of the sort. This is the deepening of understanding. Your inability to realize that shows that you still have a long way to go. Speaking of ways, is the place marked on the map our next destination? Yes, I think it's where all treasures meet and all secrets end. Of course, it will be the end of our grand adventure too, in the penultimate chapter of my masterpiece. While I, will wish, I really wish to obtain all the answers in this instant, my body is exhausted. Next to go and the others are still at the oasis. Alright, Sameus subordinates reported him about merchants. Do you think they were attacked? Oh no, I almost forgot that. I told them what to do if something like that happened. So they should be fine. Well, that's a first, but I've never heard Jabril sound so uncertain. Uh, let's go back to Nexigo's group as soon as we can then. It would be bad if they're not if they're in hard water that they can get themselves out. So here or here. This isn't that big, this is another pyramid. I think here. This room is ah they said the this sword. I don't remember the context, but they said that word. Uh, ah yeah, it is there. Ah the other pyramid is here. Hmm, they seem kinda of to scale, so there was a really huge structure there. Well, a bit larger than scale. It's a bit larger than on the map. Uh, something of interest in this room. Uh, Time to go. There's no way out of here like that. Ah, uh, there's. Time here. to go. So I have to come back here later. Okay, let's return to the oasis and I think I'll stop through here. Because it seems like I've been through two thirds of the whole quest so far. I'm just so happy that you are right too. Uh, where were they? They really came at us. Luckily, Jabrael gave us some instructions beforehand, so they didn't make things too difficult for us. It wasn't his instructions to flee? If Boniface had Jabrael's wisdom, then perhaps our business would be doing much better than it currently is. Ah, so maybe they will join up and become a larger party afterwards. You think too highly of him, man. Wisdom, he's one of them. I'll bet it's experience talking. Father wouldn't do something like that. There's no need to argue with him, Jet. It's my fault. I don't care what happened in the past. As far as I'm concerned, you have nothing to do with Sameo now. And that's enough for me. 
That's going on. I saw 90 in the Oasis may, be, may bring all of us closer together. Or are you at each other's throats again? So we have been for just one day? Uh, it's a long story. We tell enough to go everything. I see, but I don't have the same. I don't have sure the right to comment on it. Oh, why is that? Well, that's because Teresa is the one who's paying me. No matter who I support, it'll be a di I'll be in a difficult spot. If I support Gabriel, Teresa will probably scream at me and to get lost. But if I support Teresa, then we'll be Paul Gabriel in, in this world of sand and bandits. And was, what would you do in a situation like this? These are his words on how I'm married. I think Gabriel has changed his ways. No one doesn't think Gabriel is a bad guy either. Anyway, that guy Semeus has a weird way of speaking. No. Or speaking normally. It's best not to believe everything he says. Yeah, that that is, is true. But Gabriel is his enemy. Yeah, so they're definitely not on the same side. I believe that the most important thing right now is to get Teresa to trust Shibra. Uh What? You're a merchant. You should know the value of trust. Even in the world of academics, researchers who engage in misconduct will be stripped of their research qualifications. Just ask yourself, will you trade someone who cheated on you in the past? Uh, about that, I will decide based on circumstances. Uh, I dare not speak of others, for others, but Boniface and I have much more flexible moral standards. After weighing the risks and the benefits, we usually come to take, choose to take the risk. Uh, we wouldn't have accepted our, your commission otherwise. You guys. I think I said this before, but you sure are stubborn. Forget about some for a moment and ask yourself a question. Has Jabril ever done anything to harm you? No, I don't think so. Then hasn't he proven himself through his actions? You know, when you caused all the commotion after getting drunk, it was Jabril who stayed and took care of you, Tirza. Hmm. This isn't the time for fighting amongst ourselves. Yeah, we have, haven't even found the place marked on the map yet. Jabrail is definitely a person in our group who knows the most about the desert. It will be difficult to, for our expedition. It will be difficult for our expedition to proceed without him leading the way. Fine, I'll do it for you. I know I can trust you too, Pyron Eagles. I'll trust you again. Alright, the Tears of the Ecological Team is back together again. We still have time. We should travel to the next oasis and rest there in preparation for the next leg of this expedition. I'm willing to explain, to repay you for your trust, but the journey is our current priority. Okay. When the chapter ends, I guess it will end here or the next. There's a lot to discuss, but let's set up camp, camp first. Was that necessary? We could just be on the camp already. Now that our bellies are full, uh, what other excuse do you have? Let's hear them. Uh, and what did you sleep to not to go earlier? You better not be thinking of using the merchant to send message to the enemy. Teresa, you're being too hostile. No one's going to talk if you act like that. It was just a note on some trivial matters. It's with the luggage that you won't be able to take with you. You can have it once you return safely. He can be hostile all he wants. I'm angry too. Forget Teresa. Even I've never heard about my father's past. I refuse to believe he's an evil person. But it's his secret secretiveness that caused all, all of this. 
No, this will have happen if he told us everything from the beginning. Where is he? Uh, now I don't even know where to start. Maybe we should start with his relationship with somebody. Exactly. I can't sleep in peace without getting to the bottom of that. All of you heard somebody, yes? Well, he was telling the truth. All of you know, Nashiga was the. Uh, just like him, I was a member of the Ermai band no, named Tutmos. However, I betrayed him and Tutmos both. Did you do that? Did you do it because of mother? Uh, no, that's not it. I thought I never had to mention this to anyone ever again. In the end, it was all my fault. There were ill feelings between me and Semeo, but I only regarded myself as an easy significant grain of scent. I did as the most needed of me. Ufera was capable was a capable researcher, and the Tutmos coveted her wisdom. They hoped to use her knowledge to solve the puzzle our more left behind. So they've been doing that for more than a decade. Uh, so I invited her to the desert and searched for many ruins with her. Our years spent exploring together did bear some fruit, but it wasn't enough for Tutmos. And was Jet includes, included in those results? Uh, come on, Tears, some things are best left unsaid. I'm making a reasonable inference here. As I said, there were ill feelings between Samayu and me. After Jet was born, I kept asking myself if I could still wholeheartedly carry out the missions that most gave me, as I had been doing in the past. Could I still tolerate what Samei was doing? In the end, Ophira and I decided to use hitting a plateau in, in her research as an excuse to take Jet away from the desert and away from Tutmos. But Samei saw through my weakness. It can be. Researcher that can unlock a secret, the secrets to of Omar is worthless to Tutmos. He even thought that I would have no reason to leave Tutmos once Ophira was gone. Uh, well, how did you even sleep at night after witnessing things like that? I do my best. So our encounter with Samei was a coincidence. Yes and no, Tutmos will never give up an opportunity to unlock all Amar's secrets. I thought that we might encounter them, but I never expected that we would run into some mail. Those were two with two. Paimon wonders what wicked plots they and some mail are hatching together. He will stop at nothing to achieve his objectives. That's the kind of person some mail is. Then what's your goal on the street, bro? My goal? It's not moral, is it? Are still unable to let go of King Deshred Six? No, the first one. It's not more, is it? Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if he was here for the more. After all, someone like Tirzat, who's foolish and rich, uh, I mean generous, is pretty hard to come by. I'm not drunk, you know? I heard it all. Perhaps it's as Jet said, coming to the desert is like returning home, and in the end, I'm a grain of sand. I was born here, and I shall be buried here as well. Ophira and I were like a bird and a fish, but all of our secrets allow our fates to intertwine. Now, you and I, people from different lanes, are again here for those very same secrets. I didn't mention all of this to you, because it was my own selfish dream, and it had nothing to do with Jet. I didn't want to make her, her bear any burdens she didn't have to. She said, we hold different opinions on Alamar, but you are one of the researchers from the Hindi clan. As long as we reach the throne, the throne, our destination tomorrow, Kaj Nisut, is where Alamar's throne lies. According to the legends of the desert, only the chosen are worthy to kneel before the throne. The times have changed, and... If I have a chance to look upon the golden slumber uh, that all Mars promise, all our promise, then I'll be able to fulfill the lifelong wish that Ophira and I share. 
To that end, I will do as we agreed and protect you to the end. All right. Our side will be weaker by far if you were just in Zemi. Oh, how could you forget about Pan? Come on, you don't fight. I don't think you can be included in any summation of our group's strength. Hmm, Pemmo's definitely stronger than you, though. Anyway, I have new worries now. Jibrael, don't you have revenge on your mind at all? Uh, I know you're, you've repeatedly promised to protect me until the commission is over, but... The loss of your wife isn't something you can just laugh off, is it? If you meet again... No, I think we definitely will. Even I know that he will be waiting in ambush for us at our final destination. At that time, what will your priority be? Will, will you take a step forward to get revenge or a step back to keep us safe? Come on, Teresa, stop putting people on spot like that. It's a very religious question and it's linked to my survival, so of course I have the to pursue an answer. Uh, I, if taking revenge on some would could bring a friar back to life, a good deal like that. If I had to gut him ten times, even a hundred times, I wouldn't hesitate at all. Mm. Um, but this is a meaningless delusion that even Omar would pay no attention to. I can only pray she has found peace amidst the endless ocean of sand. A man chained by hatred cannot raise a daughter. That's why I left the saints behind me, so that Jet could get away from all this and those feelings that, that would not edify her. Father, I didn't know anything. I even said that you did all this because you couldn't forget deserts and the hot winds here. If you hate it here, then just leave right now and forget some mail. To be honest, I want to know about the past. I want to know how you and mother met each other and fell in love. I want to know what you and mother had been through, the sweet memories and everything else. But if bringing up these memories will bring you sorrow, then I'd rather not hear about them. Just leave them buried here. I'll stop liking the same, and I'll stop treating this place as home. We've been together since I can remember. Well, obviously. Nothing in this world, world is more important to me than you. So long as you are well, we can be at home anywhere. Wait, wait, you can't leave. Our expedition isn't over. We were so suspicious of them just a while ago. Uh, things changed. I fully trust Jabrael now. He certainly isn't on Samayu's side, at least. Uh, he isn't, right? Don't worry, I won't quit that way. Perhaps that day will come when I shall meet her again on the eternal oasis. When that day comes, spring water will replace salt water. Joy will wash away the pain. Uh, roses will never wither and the feasts will never end. But that day is still very, very far away. It would definitely not be now. She knows that I have a mission to complete. I will assist you in unlocking the seals of Omar and protect you until the end. Samayu will not obstruct us because you'll clear him out of your way. As for Ofreira, if I have the chance, I'll tell her everything yet. Time will gradually filter away the bitter impurities. So I'm not good with words. I may not be able to even convey a thousand, a thousand of her beautiful qualities, but if you're willing to listen, I'll tell you everything I know. Uh, my head is a mess, father. Can you sing that song again? I always stars above the wasteland. It always calms me. The song that will favorite decipher from Omar's texts. All stars have above the wastelands, all nightingales rarely from this day. It's time to take off the crown of roses, cleanse yourself with wine made from grapes. I'll take the night watch, don't sleep, stay up too late. <laughs> uh, we should not worry, no wrong. Uh, I thought this would be a new part, a new chapter, whatever. Okay.
quest. Wonderful, Sarah seems to be in good mood. We will, we will Wester is looking good too. It's gonna name we will Wester because it kept spinning on the ground after knocking some kegs over. I wanted to name it Keg, but Boniface was on the opinion that it wasn't a nice name. Since we have done the lion, it makes sense to have we will Wester, right? It's what he said. I know he's my friend, but I can't really compliment his tasty names. Ah, oh, the lion is a nice name for a stump beast. I'm too old to start a new career as an adventure now. Uh, that being said, I won't know until I try. Omid will definitely take me for a madman if I tell him. That's why I better only inform my boss. Please keep the secret for me. Where's the other guy? Okay, I made up my mind. I'm going to Port Ormos. I haven't yet decided on what business to go into, but I'll figure that out after seeing what other people are doing there. I inform the boss once I'm back in our village. Although he always complains that he's short on crew, I guess he'll be alright with Mirsa to help him. Mm. So they're both kitchy. Well, yeah, I think that dungeon will take a little while. So I'll stop here again. And the oasis. I don't know, maybe Monday. I'll continue.